What's up guys, Justin here with the renderingessentials.com back with another twin motion rendering tutorial for you today. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to create an animation inside of twin motion. I wanted to help you create like a simple animation where you add people walking and cars moving and then we export it to a file um, that's gonna be like a video file from twin motion. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so to start off, model credit. For this model, this is a model from SketchUp's 3D Warehouse. Um, it's the parking model by Max Achofsky. So you can go into SketchUp and download this model and then make some of the changes that I've made in order to follow along. So basically what I've done is I've just gone through and I've deleted out a bunch of the two-dimensional face me components so that I can replace them with twin motion components. And then I've brought this into twin motion. So I just did it by using the import function. You could use the direct link tool as well. But specifically in this video, I want to focus on a couple different things. So let's start by creating an animation of cars and people walking inside of this model. So what I want is I want some cars that are going to kind of drive around in the model and people walking and then we're going to export this to an animation. So to start off, animating that kind of movement is really easy using the paths function, which you can find under context. And so under context, you can see there's an option in here for path. And notice how there's multiple different paths in here for characters, bicycles, etc. And so let's start by adding some people walking up and down the sidewalk in this model. So we'll start right here. We'll do a character path, and all we need to do is just click on this button right here, and then single click, and click again in order to create this path. And as soon as you do that, people are going to start showing up along this path. And you can adjust how many people are in here by adjusting the density up or down. So notice if I turn this up, you get more people. If I turn this down, you'll get less people. And so the other thing I want to do is I want to adjust the width of this path like this. So when I adjust the width of the path, notice how it's very subtle, but the yellow color in here is getting wider, showing you that the path is wider, and so the people will be more spread out along the path. And I may take this and just kind of drag it a little bit further over here. So now what we want to do, because we've got people walking on our path, is now let's animate some cars. And so to do that, you're going to go back to your path. You're going to animate a vehicle path. So we're just going to click and we are going to create a path in this lane right here. And then we'll just right click. So what that's going to do is that's going to start adding cars. And so in this case, the cars are going to be driving along the path that we just drew. And so you can adjust the direction they go by clicking on the reverse button right here. And one other thing we could do is we could center this on this road. and set this so that there's two lanes like this. And so notice how you can use this in order to make a wider road just like this. So now we have cars moving inside of our model as well as people walking. And so now we have a very simple animation, right? And so what I wanna do is, first off, I'm gonna drag this a little bit further along right here just by dragging this piece just so these cars can come all the way up here. I'm also going to turn my speed down because I want the cars to go really slow through this section so that I don't have a ton of them like disappearing over here. But we are going to have cars disappearing at the end of this point and that's really okay because I'm really just demonstrating how the animation functions work. So now let's say that we wanted to have an animation where my camera kind of moves and looks up at this parking structure like this, right? So what we would do is we would come over here into our media settings and we could use our video settings in order to create that video. So the way that works is you click on create video, then click on create video again. And so what that's going to do is that's going to pop up this little editor right here that's going to allow you to basically animate movements. So let's say that I wanted my camera to start right here. So to start off, what you would do is you would move your camera to the location that you want, right? In this situation, I'm gonna click right here. And one thing I might do is go into my more settings and adjust my field of view down a little bit because that field of view was way too wide. So I might bring this down to something like, call it 65 right here. We can make some other changes in a minute, but inside of our video settings, now we can update our camera. Well, now 
let's say we wanted this camera to move over here, right? So kind of sideways like this. Well then we could click the plus button in order to create a new keyframe. So now if we were to go to the very beginning by clicking on first frame and click on play, our camera is gonna move sideways inside of our viewport. And so this is a very slow movement right now because this is set as a 10 second part length. And so if you wanted to, you could adjust this to maybe something like five seconds. And then if we were to play it, it would run a lot faster. See how this is moving a lot faster. And so now let's say that we wanted our camera to jump over here and move down from a different angle right so we what we wouldn't want is we wouldn't want to add another clip over here with our camera way off to the side all right so let's say we wanted this to be our new view for our camera we wouldn't want to click the plus button because what that's going to do is that's going to make your camera jump way over there right if i click play all of a sudden my camera is going to like fly over here to this new location and that's not what we want what we want instead i'm gonna go ahead and delete out this section, what we want instead is we want to create a new part because a new video part is going to create a new piece of your video without the transition between the two locations. So if I click on new part, notice how this has a slightly different shading to it. And that's just indicating that this is a completely separate piece or part of a clip inside of Twin Motion. So now let's set this so that our camera just moves down really slowly. I'm gonna click right here to create a keyframe. Well, now we've animated this piece of the clip so that this is gonna move down. And I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this to be five seconds as well. So you could add multiple parts to your videos just by doing this. And so now let's go in and adjust our rendering settings real quick, and then we can export our video. So we're gonna click into our settings, and this is where you can adjust things like your weather. And so we're gonna drag this over so that it's cloudy, but we don't want it to be raining right so we can add some clouds by doing this but then under our effects we want to turn our particles off that way we don't actually have rain coming down in here so now we go back we can make a few other changes so for example we could adjust our location so we get some shadows in our scene and you could make any other changes that you wanted to as well. So you could adjust your lighting. So your exposure could go up and down to adjust the uh, brightness of your scene, other things like that. In this case, I'm gonna leave this because I really wanna focus on the animation settings. And so notice how what that's done is inside of this keyframe, our weather settings are in here. But when we jump over, those settings are not included, right? So they're only added in the first part and not the second. And so what we wanna do is we wanna click over here we want to click on this button right here. There's a button for copy ambiance. So then we can move over here and we can do a paste ambiance. What that's going to do is that's going to copy your camera settings from that other scene. And we want to make sure to paste that ambiance in both of these clips so that we have our clouds in here. So now we have our first animation and our second animation with those same sun effects inside of Twin Motion. And so now let's talk about how to export this. So the first thing is if you go back into your video settings and click on the more button, you can adjust the size of the video that's created. So you can do 2K, 4K, or custom. And so just for the sake of performance in this video, I'm actually gonna bring this down and I'm gonna set my size to 1280 by 720 because I want this to be a smaller video, just so this is a fast export. You obviously don't have to do that, but I'm just doing that for the sake of this tutorial. So now what we have is we have our video, right? If you click on it, you can click play and you can preview your video. So it's a very simple video, but it's pretty much ready to go. So now what we wanna do is we wanna export this video. So the way that we're gonna do that, and by the way, you could also name this. So you could click in here and click on rename, and you could just call this pan animation. Well, now let's export it. So the way you're gonna export your video is you're gonna click on the button for export, and under video, you wanna select your pan animation, just like this. And so there's other settings you can adjust in here, like the format, for example, the kind of video that's exported. You can adjust the frame rate inside of these settings. But for what we're doing, we're gonna go ahead and leave this 
as is. So we've got our one video selected. We're just gonna cl click on the button for start export. And so then we're just gonna go find the location that you wanna save this video. You're gonna click on select folder. What that's gonna do is that's gonna go through and that's gonna export this video. So it's gonna pop up a little window that gives you the estimated time left. And uh, it's just gonna go through and it's gonna export all of those frames into a video that you can then open outside of Twin Motion. And so because I exported this to a fairly low resolution, um, it exported fairly quickly. So then you can open that file up and you can play it in your video editor. You could also send this to people, share it, do a lot of different things with it. But this is a very simple way to create animations in Side of twin motion. They're very easy to create and it's a really easy set of steps to follow. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you created animations in twin motion before? How has it gone for you? I just love having that conversation with you guys. Now, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.